How you doing? What's new with you? I have new glasses. That's what's new with me. I uh, Welcome to the replay, by the way. Uh, my name is Bobby, and I am the host of this group. And if you're watching this right now, then you are probably in the replay, except for that person who gave me a heart. So that was nice of you. This video is live now. There it is. Let's see. Hang on. It's going to start. How do I turn the sound off? Oh, I know how. Hang on a second. I got to turn that off. Okay, good. Oh, it's Robin. Yeah, uh, you show up in the comments for some reason. Anyway, uh, I got I got this going so I can read comments live. So that's nice. Oh, look, and I can see the hearts going up. I like that. Anyway, how's everybody doing today? See, yeah, see, you're, you're anonymous there, but I can see that it's Ray. It's Ray, because now I got my phone. So that's nice. All right, so I'm going to go by the comments there, so you guys don't have to tell me who you are. So Ray is here, and Jennifer is here, and Robin is here. Thanks, guys, for showing up. Ah, uh, so... Um yeah, so I finally got new glasses. Just quick story, right? Uh, I be, You haven't seen me wearing glasses before because I never wear glasses. I always wear my contacts. Um, I had a pair of glasses. They were 150 years old, and, uh, and they were held together with duct tape because uh, I never wore my glasses, and they weren't very stylish, but I just had them for when, you know, like I couldn't handle my contacts anymore, and I just wanted something on my face so I could see... Uh, so I would wear those glasses just in the house. I never wore them out. But uh, now it was time for new contacts, new glasses. And I was just like, you know what? I'm getting the whole shebang. So uh, here they are. My contacts are on back order. So until my contacts come in, I'm uh, wearing the glasses. Except now I have glasses that I like. So anyway, so that's that. Uh, are you happy that I told you that story? Anyway, so uh, here it is the deal. This is Daily Fuel. You guys can comment. I'm going to ignore you while I'm talking, doing my spiel, and then I'm going to go back to the comments and we're going to talk. And so let's just get started now. <sighs> okay, Core Genius. Core Genius is sort of the, the core uh, topic of this group. It's like the main thing that I kind of revolve everything that I talk about around. And so core genius to me is that, and here's how I've always put it, it's that sort of that one superpower, that one singular talent skill that you have. Everybody has a core genius, I believe, but it's that one thing that you have that just is like it bursts out of you. Now for many of us in this group, it has something to do with our art, but not doesn't have to you know a lot of people in this group are artists but that the, the art isn't necessarily your core genius and that's okay uh, for me they happen to be one and the same which is why I made the group about art so here's uh, here's something that I've been thinking about recently is that I've always called it that singular talent that one thing right except what if what if I was looking at it a little wrong what if what if we didn't have one? What if you had a lot of core geniuses? Or or what if you're trying to figure out your core genius and you're being a little too uh, myopic? Is that the word? Uh, you know, like singularly focused uh, or too... Uh, what's the word? Uh, too, uh, too small minded about it, you know? Uh, I was trying to think of my core genius as, to me it was like w that one skill was one thing. Except what if it's not? What if, what if it's a lot of things? What if it shows itself? What if your core genius is one thing, one superpower that you have, except it shows itself, it, it exhibits itself, it manifests in multiple ways, in multiple skills. For example, uh, I'm, I can draw. And uh, I, I, as a kid, I would draw all the time, and then I didn't draw for a long time. And then when I started getting into doing these graphic novels, I was kind of nervous because I hadn't been drawing for a really long time. And guess what? I can draw. I'm still good at it. So uh, I can do that. And uh, I'm also a designer. I'm also a singer and a musician. So it's like, is only one of those my core genius? I don't think so, except the, one of the issues I was having is I was trying to figure out how to create a business, a life around one art topic you know like oh am i a musician or am i an artist do i want to make a graphic novel or do i want to make videos or do i want to write except i think that was just too small-minded it was too narrow-minded and uh and and so you probably noticed that i've taken some time off from doing daily fuels because i was trying to figure out what am I, how am i doing this what what does it mean to me and so uh 
it was hard to define it for myself it's, and and it may be hard to define for you especially for people like me who are multidisciplinary you know so uh <sighs> I've now entered what I'm calling phase two, right? Phase two of, of this group, phase two of doing daily fuels. And I said phase one was I was trying to figure out how to incorporate my art into my life. And in my thinking throughout that phase one time, I was trying to figure out like, what exactly is my singular core genius, the thing I wanna do? Do I wanna do this thing or do I wanna do that thing? And I wanna do all of the things, you know? So that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that was hard for me to land on and stick with because uh, I'd have days where I'd be like, man, I just want to do everything. Except then I would get into that feeling of, how am I going to do everything? Uh, seriously, how? How am I going to make a graphic novel and music and videos and stuff? Because there just aren't enough hours in the day. You know, that's when all the excuses start popping into your head. So. Uh, I've pretty much taken all those excuses and thrown them in the garbage and uh, and and I think I came up with a way to uh, to to do this it's it's kind of a clever trick that I figured out um, I think that my issue was that I was creating too many artificial deadlines for myself and and by artificial I mean first of all I just made them up but second of all I was creating like I got a deadlines based on a project that I just said this should be the project and it should be done once a week or once a month or whatever and it's like well who said this should be the project because this is going to take me three months and I don't want to come out with one of these every three months that's too much I want to be coming out with something once a week and uh, when I started to think differently about like what what exactly is a project and what exactly is a deadline and you know it's like what am I sort of accepting as a rule upon myself that isn't even my rule you know, I feel like I'm rambling today, but it, this is kind of new to me. And I was just like, oh, my God, I want to talk about this. And now that I'm saying it out loud, I'm, I'm feeling it. But I, I hope that I'm conveying it well. Uh, and, and plus, I have to do this now because I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> so th this is a new feeling. Um, so I, I want to do it all. And and I think that sometimes I feel like I'm stuck creating in uh, in a paradigm that was created by or for somebody else. You know, I'll give you an example. Uh, I'm thinking of the graphic novels and I'm thinking of uh, YouTube videos. And I know that when it comes to creating uh, comic books, for, for example, comic books are typically, American comic books are typically 20 pages and they come out monthly. So it's like, I know this, it's in my head, you know? And I know that YouTube channels will come out with uh, X number of videos every week. You know, maybe it's every Monday and Thursday, or maybe it's uh, every day, or, you know, depending on the, on the channel. And there's always like best practices, like, oh, if you want to get to this level, then you should be doing it at this rate. And I'm just like, oh, I, I can't make them that fast. I can't make something that's 20 pages every month. I can't make something and make uh, a new single uh, for music and make uh, these three videos for my YouTube channel that I want to make. And it's like, well, wait a minute. Why, why am I following somebody else's rules? So I, I realized the way that I'm making my the comics is is not really the standard American comic. I'm not making something that I have to sell in a comic book store at 20 pages at a clip. I'm making something that I could share two or three pages at a clip. I'm making something where I could tease it out one piece at a time where all of a sudden now I'm coming out with something every week because uh, quite honestly, nobody's waiting for this thing you know maybe some of you are because you've been hearing me talk about it and ramble about it for so long but nobody outside of this group even knows that i'm working on this so there's nobody in the world who's like waiting for this thing to come out nobody <laughs> right so it's like why am i creating it as this specific in this specific box in this specific package so i've been coming up with my own way to package it 
and that fits with the way that I want to work because I do want to make the graphic novel and I do want to make songs and I do want to make videos, but I may not want to make them on a specific timetable that somebody else said was the best practice way to do it. And there might be days where I'm really into working on this aspect of it. And then all of a sudden it's like, I'm kind of done working on this this week. I want to work on this thing now and I can switch gears. So I'm re so I've what I've been doing is sort of reevaluating what I'm making and reevaluating the typical rules of how to do those things and how to put them out there into the world and saying, well, this works better for me and this is how I'm going to want to create and now I'm going to create and I'm going to put it out there. And I happen to believe that by doing it this way, I will be able to create something on a weekly basis, whether it's a song or 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 a piece, a scene from the graphic novel, or a video of it, or or a video of something else, and uh, and that's going to help me build the audience that I want to build because it will be consistent content over time. But it doesn't necessarily have to be this book comes out the third of every month, and it's like I. I can't be stuck to that, you know, that doesn't work for me because then all of a sudden I'm just rushing and stuff. That's why I posted that question the other day about like, uh, uh, are you into deadlines and stuff? Like Jennifer, I just happened to catch your, your, your comment there and the thing, your face is showing up today. Um, but I'm using my phone now to see comments. So you don't have to say who you are. I appreciate you doing that. Thank you very, very much. But, uh, everybody listening, you don't have to tell me who you are anymore because I can see everybody on my phone. So I'm just going to use that. Um, so anyway, that's that. And, uh, I, I'm sorry that I'm rambling today. I, I'm, I want to get back into the groove of these daily fuels, um, but I feel a little bit out of practice with them, and I and I just want to uh, I want to have something really palpable to share in these. So um, anyway, uh, did, did that make any sense? I'm gonna go to the comments now. So <laughs> let's see. Uh, scrolling back. Wow, that's a lot of comments. More than I thought. Let me see. Uh, okay, here's a problem now is that these glasses, I, I'm very nearsighted, so I have, uh, I have an astigmatism, and uh, these glasses are uh, really, really powerful. So uh, I can see things now far away, like, mm, perfect. Uh, but they've kind of messed up my close vision. Now I can read this, but uh, it, it's really weird because with my contacts, my contacts aren't this strong. So my far vision is really, really good, except they don't mess up my near vision. So I can read the phone like this with my contacts on, but I can't read the phone like this with my glasses on. I have to, I have to do it the old man way and hold it like this. Now with my glasses off, I can see the phone like right here. And uh, I have, I have like, you know how good it, uh, an eagle's vision is far away? I have an eagle's vision close. Like when I look at my hand and stuff, I get, it is like magnified, right? I have like magnification eyes. Uh, and, and so like if you got a splinter or something, I'm the guy to get it out because when I look at it up close, I can see it like it's just so perfect that I can just pull it right out. Anyway, I'm going to put these back on so I can see anything. And uh, I'll read it like this. So let me see. We have... Um, well, I have a lot of explaining to do today. Robin's here, Jennifer's here, or Ray made it, yay. Uh, Robin, I had my glasses uh, taped up and another glued <laughs> until finally I got new ones. Yeah, without tape. Because, uh, you know what, I'm going to see who it is here and read it here because this is hard to read. Uh, okay, I I'll get this down, don't worry about it. Yeah, I had tape this year. So yeah, I, uh, you know the deal, right? That my, that my glasses were, uh, they were stylish when I got them. And, you know, styles change. So they were, uh, they, they, they were not anymore. But uh, they broke, and I put a little black tape on them to hold them together. And so I, I would not wear them out of the house, obviously. Uh, except that I did once in a while. If like I was driving my daughter to school like early in the morning when it was still dark out, I would just be like, screw it, and leave the glasses on. Uh, and then hope nobody looked in the car and saw me. But uh, <laughs> so that was that. Uh, Robin also says, what if someone with multidisciplinary talents could combine them all? That's what I'm trying to get at here is that... Um, Actually, more than that, it was like I realized I have multidisciplinary talents, 
but I was trying to figure out if one of these talents was my core genius. Like, am I better at singing or am I better at drawing or am I better at communicating and writing? And, and I'm trying to think now that maybe the core genius is some underlying thing that manifests itself in all these different skills, you know, which was why it was always so difficult for me to get out of the business I was in because I was actually really good at it. You know, uh, I was in web design and I was working with clients and I was especially like uh technical clients like in engineering and aerospace and stuff like that because their stuff is very fascinating to me i i really like science too and uh, i'm just good at a lot of things i don't know what to tell you so uh but yeah it's like i want to combine these skills but i'm trying to figure out like what is my core genius that manifests itself in drawing and singing is it just art is it uh is it communication is it is it just awesomeness? I don't know what it is, you know? I'm being a little humble bragging today. But uh, uh, so then we have Robin says, uh, what if you're... Mo yeah, okay. And then somebody said, oh, oh, it's Kelly. Hi. See, I don't see who you are here, but it's Kelly. So, uh, yeah, Kelly. Kelly says, oh, you look so artsy in your new glasses. Thank you. And uh, is the stupid video eCamp showing you who we are? No, but I have my phone. So I know who everybody is. So I have to look here to see who you are, but I have to read it here because I can't see this with my glasses. <laughs> my contacts are on back order. When I get them, I won't have this problem. Am I making this comment long enough for you to figure out who this is? If not, yes, uh, I, I should have known. Anyway, uh, Robin says, how would they figure it out? How would they figure it out? Uh, oh, your other question. Uh, love the glasses look. Uh, Trey, Trey? Trey Q, I don't speak French. Kind of distracting, is it? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to focus. <laughs> LOL. Uh, oh, I like that. Who said that? Uh, Kelly again. Oh, I like that. What am I accepting as rules? And why, if I don't like them, am I accepting them? Yeah. You know, uh, how, the, uh, just to reiterate in case somebody doesn't know what I'm talking about. The, the thing like, I want to make YouTube videos. I want to make... The graphic novels i'm calling them graphic novels um i want to make music and i know so much about all of these things that i get the rules in my head uh you should make a video every week you should make a 20 page comic book that can be sold once a month you should make uh you should make a song every other month and then make a video for it and then do it this way and put it out that way and it's like I don't want to do any of that crap. I want to do it my way. And I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, and I'm good at all of them. And they are, each one of them, an expression of my artistic genius. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's just an artistic genius, a, create, a creativity. Maybe that's my core genius. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I almost fell down. Uh, okay. That was weird. I fell down the other day. Was it yesterday? No, it was the day before yesterday. Uh, we were barbecue. I was barbecuing. And it's been it's winter here. So it's been snowing and then freezing and then snowing on top of that and then freezing again. And anyway, uh, despite my best efforts to stay on top of it, the, the back deck is a sheet of ice. It's an ice rink. And I can't, I've been trying to chop at it and then it'll rain and then freeze and then it's a mess. Anyway, so my... Uh, I took the, uh, what's it called? I took the, 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 the barbecue and I moved it right to the back door. So it was like three or four feet away. And I went outside and my wife, Laura, she's like, oh, is it slippery out? And I'm like joking around with her. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to slip, you know? And, uh, and then I came in the house because it really was slippery. My feet were sliding everywhere. <sighs> Well, anyway, then I'm in the house and we're talking and you know how you forget something's on the barbecue. And she looks outside, she's like, I see a flame and I didn't want my pork chops to burn. So I just ran right outside forgetting about the ice and I just went right to it. I'm single-minded. Pork chops don't burn, right? And, <laughs> and it was like, you know, in the uh, cartoons when uh, when the character runs off the cliff and is in the air and, and like Wile E. Coyote and he's just standing in the air and the roadrunner points down and Wile E. looks down and sees he's not standing on anything and that's when he falls. I swear to God, that's what this feels like happened to me. I went outside to the thing and... And Laura says uh, something like, uh, you know, like, don't slip on the ice. And as soon as she said that, I remembered the ice and my feet just went whack, and my ass went down and 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 everybody. And she thought that I went down the stairs, <laughs> down the steps of the deck into the grass. Uh, but luckily I did not. I just went straight down. Uh, I was fine. 
But uh, the pork chops were also fine. One of them got a little burned. Uh, I'm going to try and eat that one last because uh, I make a bunch of pork chops and then I have some left over. But uh, it, they, they came out great. In case you were nervous about the pork chops, because uh, that's what I was nervous about. But if you were nervous about me, I'm fine. Uh, where was I? So, um, Robin, I think I want to combine abstract art with sculpture with light, lighted things, or question mark. Okay, great. Uh, I, wanna, I want them to glow, to move, be 3D, but have no idea, or do I want to enough? Oh, do I want to enough, right? Yeah, it's like, uh, t here's the other thing for me. Uh, what time is it? Because I have to, it's 6.20. Okay, oh, darn it. I just closed Facebook to check the time. Oh, there we are. Boy, you would think that taking a couple weeks off, I wouldn't get so rusty at this. And yet, here we are. Anyway, so uh, taking, uh, do I want it enough? Sometimes I, f I would get into this habit where I'd be like, no, I want to make music. And then I'd work on the music and then I'd get bored with it. And I'd be like, no, I want to do the comics. And then I'd start working on that and I'd get bored. And, and I'm realizing that it's, uh, so I would think maybe that's not my core genius. Maybe this isn't my core genius. Maybe I just don't want to do anything. But the, the thing that I realize is that I always want to do something. I just don't always want to do the same thing every day. And so, uh, so that, that's me. And so I'm just kind of learning to embrace that. I was fighting against that. I was resisting that, right? Uh, that's not a good thing to do, resisting. Uh, Kelly says, oh no, what'd I do? All right, I lost where I was. Hang on, oh, I like that when I do, do, do. I think I want to combine. Yes, Mary is watching. Okay, hi, Mary. If you're still here, you probably ran away because this is just a, a shit show of me not knowing what the hell I'm doing. Robin, I wanted the glow. I said that. Kelly, Jennifer is here. Je Kelly says the best practice is the practice that makes you feel the best. That makes me feel best. Uh, okay. Um, best practice is the practice that makes you feel the best. Okay. I like that. Um, sorry, by the time I read it, I didn't know what I was talking about anymore. Uh, I'll come back to you. Uh, Jennifer says, hi, it's Jennifer. Right. I said, you didn't have to do that. I mean, I tuned in right. Uh, Robin, I like your music combined with your banging graphics. Thank you. I appreciate that. And Kelly says, does anyone remember the pizza commercial where the guy says, oh my gosh, there are no rules and start taking his shirt off the pizza store. Employees say, sir, please put your shirt back on. And the guy says, there is one rule. Sorry, Bobby. I just wanted to make you happy that I'm alive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm always happy that you're here. Uh, this is Jennifer. I like your glasses. Thank you. And Jennifer, ironically, you're showing up today. And then Kelly, uh, that meant to say on the live, I'm not alive. <laughs> okay, good. I'm also glad that you're alive. I mean, that's 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 nice. Uh, Robin, my mind is rambling today as well, so don't worry. I love it when you ramble. Says Ray, thank you, and Kelly. See, I don't even have to look because I know that's Kelly. It's it's like this long. Um, I appreciate that you've been being true to your introvert nature and have gone into this sort of creative cocoon for yourself. Thank you. And now you are slowly coming out of it as the butterfly that you have become. Okay, cool. And uh, allow yourself that. Or, sorry, of adjustment and don't... Allow yourself that of adjustment and don't put any pressure on creating a certain amount of daily fuels just for our entertainment. We all love you and respect your process. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. I, I Sometimes I think it's like, no, I have to make them every day. Otherwise, people aren't going to be interested anymore. But I, it doesn't feel like people became disinterested in this group uh, because I don't feel like the daily fuel is the focus of this group. I feel like it's a it's a value add. I feel like the focus of the group is that we're all here to sort of share our art and grow together. And you guys uh, don't need me for that. You're doing it on your own, I see, uh, which is great. But um, the Daily Fuel is sort of like my, what I can bring to the table uh, here. And, and so I'm glad that you uh, said that. Thank you. Uh, Robin says, if you're nearsighted, isn't it better without the glasses? Yeah, but only ne I can only see like this far away. Any th I can't see that. <laughs> right? Clear? Blurry. So the screen is way over there. Uh, and I don't think you want to watch me reading my phone like this the whole time. Actually, that's too close. But anyway, I digress. Uh, Blake says, hey, oh, the tape didn't fool me, uh, but others did the tape. Okay, uh, on, my, on my glasses. Uh, Blake says, hey, Blake, how are you? Hey, catching you live, core genius is underlying renaissance, man. Uh, yeah, 
Uh, yeah, you've said that before. I think in my old group you used to call me that uh, because I, I I am I'm I do a lot of things and I happen to be good at a lot of things. Except there's no one thing that I love more than everything else. That that's all I want to do. I want to do it all, you know. And I just have to be okay with that. Uh, Blake, nope. Robin says, I think one of your core geniuses might be your persona on camera. You have an awesome presence. If I were on camera, I'd be freezing up. Thank you. Uh, you know, that that uh, that didn't that wasn't natural. That took a lot of work. And my first few times on camera, I was not great at it, uh, especially uh, speaking in front of people. I was never um, that didn't, that was not natural. I had to work at that and practice that. Uh, I, I had my share of live performances where I kind of froze up, especially talking, because I got a little cocky with talking in front of people after I had already been singing in front of people for a while. I had this job and the boss was like, hey, can you do this presentation? And I was like, yeah, sure, no problem, because I'm a singer and I get up on stage in front of people and sing all the time. Uh, getting up on stage and singing and getting up on stage and talking are two very different things, at least for me, because suddenly I realized I didn't have a specific melody and and lyrics that I was singing like it wasn't set I had to sort of go off the cuff and and I was just like I'm not, I'm not. I was like uh, Ralph Cramden I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> I private dust right and it was uh it was that so um I think one of your core genius my oh, your persona on camera I see that Graham is here Blake says shoulda woulda uh, don't shoot all over yourself. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Ray says, breathe. Thank you for the reminder. I appreciate that. And Robin says, I think your problem is you're thinking too much about it. You're shoot. Yeah, that's what Blake just said. Uh, it took me four years of therapy to learn that, that I should get the word out of my vocabulary. Oops, except that I just used the word. Ha <laughs> ha. But it is a good rule for me to follow. Yeah, it really is a good rule. You know, um, part of uh, part of the way that I approach Daily Fuel is that I realize these things about myself and then I sort of drive the nail into the wood, I don't know, by saying it out loud to you. It's like me getting on here and saying that I'm doing this kind of makes it real in the sense that I can take it outside of myself and look at it and be like, that's stupid. I'm not doing that anymore. You know, uh, that's why I was able to figure so much out about myself in three months of daily fuels that I wasn't able to figure out in 10 years before that, just sitting in my head, you know, by getting here and saying it to you guys and then getting your feedback on it. It was like, it just became clear as day to me. I was like, what am I doing? This, uh, this isn't how you do this. So, um, so there's that. So thank you. And Barbara is here. Hello, Barbara. Uh, nice to see you on a daily fuel. I think this is your first one. You're you're pretty new here, I think. Um, thanks for being here. I appreciate that. Um, and Barbara uh, says, oh, you're giving Kelly a run for her money here. I have had those thoughts too. What I should do or judgments like, come on, Barbara, no one's going to like that. Do it this way or you can't do it that way. Uh, who says? Exactly. Who says? we say it to ourselves nobody else says that who is the authority here me i say lol being true to myself is following what i want and that voice has gotten smaller and smaller and it's becoming my ally oh good for you i'm very happy to hear that that is uh, a great thing and thank you for sharing that i appreciate that that was barbara and here's kelly the writing prompt that you put on there was super successful please do more of those that was fun you know ray wrote uh like six sentence a uh, six sentence six word poem or something the other day and i saw that and i was like oh that's cool i like that and then uh I was like, I wonder if anyone else can do that. And that's where that thing came from, to the, that little challenge. So that was nice. A lot of fun. Oh, my dad is here. Hey, Dad. How you doing? And uh, we're at the end. But Blake says, Bobby, you just remind me so much of my father. You are the same age now that he was when I was a kid. He was a director, writer, editor in the TV film production. We lived in New York City and then in Rochester. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, that sounds That sounds like fun. Uh, yeah, you know, it's like I just do it all and I have to embrace doing it all and I, I think my problem was that because I like to do it all I was trying to figure out some kind of schedule that fit the rules that I could do it all and I'm just like screw the rules uh, Who's the boss here me right just like Barbara said 
So let me see. Uh, Robin says, "Oh, you're you're there." Uh, is getting up on stage and talking different from talking to us? Is talking here easier? No, talking to you and talking. Well, you know what? I I don't really know. I don't talk on stage that much anymore. I did it a few times, and I used to do it in my networking group, and that's how I I got good at it. To me, I, when I do this, I kind of get the same rush feeling as uh, as when I'm on stage for singing. I like perf because this is sort of a performance art for me. This is a way for me to perform. I don't talk like this. You know, it's not like when uh, my, my, my son asks me for help with homework. And I'm like, well, let me tell you the story about how I got my glasses today. You know, I don't I don't talk to people this way. This is like a, a performance thing. And uh, and and it's it's a way for me to sort of express another it's another way my core genius manifests. So, uh, and I, that's uh, Daily Fuel just sort of popped out of nowhere in my old group. And I was just like, I'm going to do this. And it was a lot of fun, you know? So uh, it's, it's, but this is easy for me. I don't, I, I don't really feel nervous about this. I did tell you the story how the, when I started doing Daily Fuels years ago, I would start this because I was a little nervous because I hadn't done this before. But, um, and then it just became a, a habit. So, but I don't do it anymore because I'm nervous. Hi, Bob. Love you, Dad. Hi, Dad. Love you. Uh, thanks for being here. And uh, uh, what happened in the comments? There we go. And that's Blake. Blake says, I love that you allow yourself to be in the moment and let your streaming consciousness be your guide. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. All right. Well, uh, that is the last comment. So we will be done. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. 31 minutes. Hey, that's a good. <sighs> Let's breathe for a second. Yeah, that's nice. All right, I like these glasses too. They're they're cool. Anyway, uh, I can't see what I look like in them because when I look down, I see me looking down on the screen. So I hope I look good. I will. <laughs> I'll see you next time. And you look distinguished, says my dad. Ah, oh, thank you. Appreciate that. And so uh, I will. Uh, I'll see you soon. And thanks very much for hanging out with me and being here today. I hope you guys all have a good day. And Dad, you can have the booby prize because you were the last comment. So I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.